Howard Webb is now in charge of the PGMOL. One of the first things he should do is dismiss the permanent VAR operator, um, Lee Mason. This weekend, Mason lets another referee down by not disallowing the Brentford goal for offside. These decisions um, that VAR, these are decisions that VAR should get right. Now, let me just say this, right? This is not the first decision that Lee Mason has got, VAR decision that he's got wrong regarding Arsenal. There was also one at Manchester United earlier on in the season when Martinelli scored a perfectly good goal and he pulled it way, way back to the centre circle. He was the VAR guy that day saying there was a foul there and then that was ruled out. Late. Well, sorry, that was allowed to stand. We went on to lose that game and they then came out afterwards and said, oh, sorry, we got that wrong. That goal should have stood as well. Let me just say this, right? I'm with what um, Hackett is, Keith Hackett is saying there. Lee Mason, I've heard a lot of people talking about various different things, and I'm still fuming about this. I'm absolutely fuming, mm. right? Because even though Brentford played well, it's a tight game, Arsenal did their job. In a tight game with a team that's hard to break down, they've got everyone behind the ball and they're trying to catch us on the counter-attack. Mikel Arteta has made his substitution. He's bought on Trossard. It's worked. We've got the goal. We should be getting out there now 1-0 and we should be sitting six points ahead of Manchester City today. Because of a VAR refereeing mistake, his second one with Arsenal, mm. we have dropped two points and now City are three points behind us. And actually, when they play us on Wednesday night, if they were to beat us, they'd actually go top of the league because of Lee Mason. Mm. Because of Lee Mason, Lee Mason, you might laugh at me, but I'm saying this, right? Lee Mason, for me, should be sacked. Sacked. Mm. If you worked anywhere else and you made two huge mistakes, you might get, rid of, get away with the first one. Yeah. You make a huge mistake like that, you're gone. You're out of a job. Mm. I don't want to hear nothing about he's been demoted down in the championship because mm. why should the championship have to put up with him? <laughs> right? I don't want to hear nothing about he's been taken out of the firing line for a little while. He should be sat, he sat there at this, what is it, Stockley Park, mm. right? For, I, I just, you're, you're out of the way. There's no fans there. There's, yeah. no, there's no fans there. Like, you know, like a referee on the pitch where, you know, he could be yeah. influenced by the home fans or the away fans or whatever, or be influenced by players crowding around him. You're sat there on your own or with a couple of guys. Your sole job is to sit in front of those screens and analyse what's going on. Help out your fellow referee on the pitch. And you can't get that right. He forgot to you draw forgot the line. You forgot to draw the line. I don't know how you can. It's not, how can you forget to draw but, the but lines? My, my question. My question is obviously he's the one who's doing the VAR, but there are other officials in the room, right? But he's in charge. Of it. He's the main guy. He's the guy that's in charge of it, right? It's his job to analyse that and then give that decision down yeah. to the referee. How can you forget to? I, I reckon personally. I mean, there's a lot of Arsenal fans who are saying. They're quoting lots of conspiracy theories and cheating and stuff like that. But I, Ryan Mason personally, is relative. personally, I'd like to think that it is not that. It is not, it is not cheating. It is not. But what I think happened, right, because it, they took quite a long time to come to the decision. I reckon he's done the first part and he's thought, ah. Oh. And then he's looking at it thinking, bloody hell. It's free. And then he, a couple of minutes gone already, man, and I've just come to this decision. Yeah, yeah, uh, no goal. He's just panicked. Mm. He hasn't then realised that he's supposed to look at the other part. But then how can you do, how can you, I mean, that's gross incompetence. Mm. Yeah. And what happens to people when it's gross incompetence? They get sacked. How many people get sacked? And then when you see on the thing, you've been sacked for gross incompetence. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I cannot see any reason why today this guy, and I don't like to, I don't like to be, you know, pushing people out of a job, right? Mm. But I don't see any reason why today he should still be in a job. I, I agree with you, to be honest. I it undermines agree with you. it undermines the the referees. It undermines the Premier League. He should be sacked. Mm. End of. And I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm not trying to 
come on here and just... No, but it's, 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 it's enough is enough. It's a valid point. It's, it's, it's enough is enough. Point. We've been talking about VAR and, and it's not the technology. That's the, that's the key thing here. It's, that's, the, it's the, the people running it. it because yeah. in, the, in the World Cup, how many times did we have to sit here and talk about referees? Yeah. We, we didn't. We didn't have to talk about it. This weekend has been a complete mess in terms of VAR. That was the worst one, in my opinion, because you've literally forgot to draw the line. That's just ridiculous. But you go to the, you go to the Brighton game, they, they, they pick out the wrong player. You go to the Chelsea game, there's a dive. A player has dived to the left. Suchek has saved the ball with his hand. It's not, yeah, a, it's, yeah. it's not a sly tackle. He's on his own. He's defending and he's, he's saved the ball with his hand. That's a penalty. <coughs> and they've, they've not even checked it, Robbie. They haven't even decided to check. They're like, you know what? We don't, the, the players have gone over. They said, you, you need to check that. They're like, no, we're not going to check it. So not only are they, when they are checking it, they're forgetting to draw lines. They're deciding when and when they're not going to check it. What's the point of having a video assistance reference? Free if you're not going to check it. And wh why is the video assistant referee not upstairs in Stockley Park saying, no, 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 you need to, you need to check that? Yeah. Where's the communication? Why is a handball happening in a penalty box that is meant to be a penalty to give Chelsea the opportunity to potentially go and win? I know West Ham, from, West, West Ham fans will say there was an incident in Stamford Bridge. There was a uh, hair pull in the Chelsea Tottenham game. Like, we can just go through all of these different incidents. But you know what? The thing is, right? And, and I must admit, I thought that was handball as well. But that's a subjective one. Yeah. This one's not subjective. It's either he's offside or he ain't. And the only reason it's not been given offside is because the guy forgot to check the bloody line. Like they, what's that film? You feel only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. But I, I just, right? I can't, it's I can't understand how they forget to do the lines. You know, it's not just him in there, as we were just saying, there is other video assistant referees in there. So yes, it's Lee Mason's fault, he's the one in charge, but at the same time, what are the other video assistant referees doing? Are they not saying, oh, how, how, a, a how, cup of tea how has not one of them said, oh, actually, Lee, you forgot to, you forgot to do the lines, like, or, or do something like that. So, actually, Lee is, is, is a glass of whiskey for you, yeah, mate. You know what I mean, it, anybody it, else go get your orders, go, go and get a couple of beers down the road. It seems like that, you know what I mean? There's no transparency. Yeah. You know, I, I want to know what goes on at this Stockley Park. What? I mean, on Saturday, I wanted to know where it was. Yeah. So I could roll up, you know what I mean? But I don't, listen, I'm not advocating that. That's the wrong thing to do. But that's how I felt, yeah. right? Because when I was walking back, right, I, I was, I'd interviewed fans after the game, and I'm walking back to the studio, and um, there's a journalist who come out of the press conference, and he goes, Robbie, you do realise you lot, you lot got ripped, mate. <laughs> what are you talking about? He goes, that, the goal, 100%. Off, offside. One, he goes, not even just in one, he goes, both of them are offside. Mm, yeah, two people. He goes, apparently. how they got that wrong? He goes, he goes, it's disgraceful. He goes, he goes, he goes, I won't say no more. He goes, when you go back, watch it. He goes, have a look back. When I went back, I, I, honestly, I was fuming. Mm. I'm still fuming today. Yeah, I would be I'm too. still fuming today because it's vital. And then, you know what? This guy, Mason, I was just reading this here. Mason's latest howler is merely only the latest in a string of gaffes that have put the former referee's position under scrutiny. Two years ago, he was stood down from VAR duties for um, incorrectly overturning two red cards during a game between West Ham and Southampton. And earlier on this season, Mason was back in the firing line after he incorrectly ruled out um, a late Newcastle United winner versus Crystal Palace. And then I told you about the one at Manchester United. And this guy probably will be back on VAR That's duties. That's the thing. Right? And I, I have no faith in him... Right, if, 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 if it's a game and he's doing the VAR, I might not even go. Apparently, Howard Webb's, real... Howard Webb's called a big meeting, right, at Stockley Park with all of the officials. Has to be sacked. Now, either one or two things are going to happen. Something, there's going to be consequences to, to the actions, or they're going to they're going to have a meeting, they're going to dress up a statement or whatever, yeah. and then they're going to move on. And then, because there's so much football, you forget football is, is, is such a forgetful game because you've got so many matches, it just moves on to the next and no one will talk about it again. So that's, that's probably what will happen because that's what's happened so many times before. There's, no, there's never any, you know, I, I've said before, why are they not doing post-match interviews potentially? And I'm not saying every time it's got to be the referee, the linesman, the, the you know, you yeah. can have different people on it, but why are we not hearing from the referees? Everybody but, else has well, to speak. Because Managers, players. you can't speak against a referee. Yeah, if you, if you speak against them, you get fined. You get fined. Well, well, they're, they're so incredibly protected. There's no way a referee would come out or someone on VAR and, they give, need to have and a, give an interview and why say can't we hear from but why can't, sorry, sorry Abby, why can't we hear from them United in rugby yeah you no, can I hear agree. like yeah, yeah, it's, it's, got it's, the same, it's the same in NFL cricket as well NFL cricket or what? create some sort of league table for them <clears throat> points eat per game have some sort of relegation promotion they, they want to keep the referees 
as out of public domain as possible. You don't want to hear from them, speak to them, they go on the pitch. But the whole point of VAR, which we've been saying for the past four or five years since it came in, is that it's meant to help and um, add to the game and benefit the game and take away the odd human error <laughs> from the game. But I think football was far better before VAR. Yeah, because all they've done now is they've taken away um, the, the, the natural celebrations after goals yeah. because you have to wait for checks and then the checks are wrong half the time I think and, it takes and, the credibility and half the time they don't get the checks well. anyway yeah. there, there was a goal that Kai Havertz scored this weekend which is in, in a normal in a normal situation without VAR you give the benefit to, to the attacker now it's, it's given offside because we got VAR we're meant to be you know but what's the point of having VAR if you're not going to be consistent from game well, to it's, game it's not there's consistent. no point that's the thing that is I've got to tell you 